Hey guys, Intercool here with a follow-up video of the E3D printhead install. I ran into a few issues after not soldering right away and getting excited and wanting to print. So I had to stop printing, tear it apart, get it soldered up, which it looks great now. The fan bracket I told you about to print off for the PLA cooling capability, which is the one that sits at an angle on the stock setup. This is the bracket. As you can see, it's kind of angled, has a spot for the hole. I had to use a exacto knife to drill out the, or grind out the uh, square hole to make this fit a little better, which I forgot about. Uh, from there, I ran into an issue with the E3D print heads fan bracket getting getting in the way. So uh, I'll kind of pan over here and we'll uh, talk about it. All right, so basically what I ran into is with the E3D print head on the original install, I had it where the fan was on the opposite side of the drive gears for the extruder. And in that situation, there is a screw on this side that holds uh, one of the stop switches in place, which was putting stress on it, basically angling it this way. I got it to work for the test video. As you can see in the previous video, it worked okay. But to make it look nicer, make it run better, I did find out that the E3D print head sits a lot nicer with on the same side with the drive gears. Now in that situation, with it sitting here nicely, is that this bracket that I printed off would not fit in its spot that is provided, which is right here. Basically, they didn't want to jive together. So what I had to do was I had to uh, grind, oh, in this case, whittle off a whole bunch of plastic to make it fit. Yeah. So now, get that into position and set that up. Everything sits nicely and it's good to go. So I'll just have to get everything tightened up and I'll, I'll show you what everything looks like in a little, little bit. All right guys, just wanted to point out, I was able to keep the uh, old covers from the original print head and other wires and they're covering up these soldered ends right now but everything's nice nicely soldered up and I had to use electrical tape on the fan one because it didn't have any and it was small anyway got everything zip tied together and they're a little close now but basically everything's sitting nicer together and a point I need to come across with this is If you see how the wires go into the print head or the uh, heat block versus the fan, Let's zoom in just a little bit more here. The reason why I have it sitting this way, um, it might show up depending on which one you buy, it'll probably show up differently. But, but I had to tear everything apart, put it back together, and a couple times. But what I found out is the, the cooling fan would blow too much on the temp sensor and tell the program that the print head wasn't warm enough to print yet or for your pre pre settings that you put into the uh, for preheating and it still will do that facing this way because you see these little black allen head screws they are missing technically I'm gonna move the camera here Okay, it's still hard to see, but there's tape here blocking the holes. It's basically it, holes drilled straight through this way, and then the two there's uh, set screw spots here on both sides. The tape here is also blocking 
air movement on the heat block itself because it will get in that little hole and still blow on the temp sensor at the moment until I can find a screw to fit in there. It's just a temporary fix. Uh, as you can see now, the I'll keep the base out of the way here. The guide gun. Everything sits up there nice and tight. Um, I haven't even gotten the uh, Allen head, head screws that hold the print head in place all the way in, and it's good and tight right now. But uh, this is all mounted back into place where it needs to be, and it is pretty much ready to roll. I just got to put it back off, the cover back on, and clean everything up. All right, guys. Uh, like it's all back together. It's running. I just wanted to get to a conclusion on this. As far as I just wanted to hit points on moving the fan to the extruder, the, the, the extruder's gear side, trimming down the fan bracket so that way they can sit both flushly together. And then one point I did forget to uh, talk about in the install video is that the E3D print head will come with a brass fitting of some sort. It has like a quick quick connect blue piece that helps guide the uh, filament into uh, into the extruder itself. This won't fit in the, the main body that the uh, extruder will slide up into and uh, screw in. So this will not fit. Um, I am going to get on the internet and do some searching. I'll probably check the hardware store too. Uh, for a piece that will fit into it uh, flushly like the uh, factory one does. As you can see there's a small brass piece in there to kind of tighten up that uh, area as far as guiding the uh, filament through. So I just, just got to look for that. At the moment right now I lucked out and it's gone into the into the extruder without getting caught in the gap area. Um, I have had a run across a couple times and I've had to pull it out and actually guide it into place but so far it hasn't been too much of an irritation um, but as soon as I find one I'll post something about it and keep you guys posted so appreciate uh, the views uh, if you want to hit like if this helped you out in any way uh, subscribe if you want to I'm gonna bring more videos as I find out more on what to do with the uh, printer to make it run better so take care guys